Hello, hello, here we are again. And uh, we're going to be putting this camera together, turn it on, do a little video shooting with it, uh, see what you guys think of it. Um, got the batteries charged. Um, yeah, we're ready to start putting together, so uh, let's get to it. Hello, hello, back here again. Going to start our uh, assembly process here. So here's our camera and uh, I got a battery put in already here's the battery and something I noticed is right here that came with a 32 gig memory card already in the camera is that awesome or what I think that's pretty cool here's the memory card that came with it which was pretty darn nice. Give it a push, pop up a little bit, and pull it out. Look at that. Didn't even know it was in there. Came with the camera. Good little, good little plus. Push it in till it stays all the way down, and it's in. Close the door. Whoop! Door's closed. There you go. Batteries in. Memory card was already in it. Okay, let's uh, let's start with the uh, let's put the microphone on. So there's this little cap right here, and it's 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 small. You can see it there. Little tiny plastic cap goes in there. I'm not sure if it's protecting. You know, some kind of contact in there, dust cover. I'm going to hang on to it anyway, though. We, don't, we want to keep that. So, microphone. Uh, it's got a knob here. We're snugging it on there. You can put it on this way, this way, back at you like this if I'm videoing and talking. So, so uh, yeah, we're going to go this way, though, to start. Then you just snug this up, and uh, yeah, not tight, just 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 a little. There you go. That's plenty. That's all she needs. Oh, and look here. I see there's settings here. Off zero decibel, twenty decibel. There's a USB plug on the side of it. I'm not sure I, what that's for, but open up your back compartment. And plug this in right here into the mic socket. Give it a little push. There. And that's on there. Let's go with uh, all of these dust covers. Well, let's take the lens cover off to start with. Look at that. I don't know if I really like it tied on here. But, uh, yeah, we'll go with that for now. Okay, so there's some, uh, these are like really fine threads around here. And inside here. So putting this on, you want to be very careful. Line those threads up. Gently turn. And there you go. If it's getting, the gap in here is closing up. And... There, can you feel it come to the end? Just a little snug, that's plenty. It's got another glare guard, I guess. Same thing, real fine threads around here, and real fine threads inside here. So, here again, nice and careful. There it goes. Good thing I didn't start putting it together like a working on a truck. Turn it, and be tight. There, just a little snugger. And now you can see the camera. Puppy stands up on its own nice like that. Um, we have the stabilization arm. Um, now if you notice that these are too loose, there's a little Allen key right there. You can put an Allen wrench in there, a little tighten, and it'll make that stiffer so it won't fall out. It's got uh, 
threads up here for something else not sure what but anyway this goes on the bottom here's where you would uh, mount it to your tripod or oh and this slides you know, it slides back and forth slide it all the way out there give yourself some room to work line it up You know, it'd probably be easier. What if I just set that down right here and took this and came up to it and start it gently? That was much easier. Now you can see there's like a gap here, so we can't go too close. It's there. So you slide it back. I don't know. I'll just get it kind of close. Start snugging it. Take a look here, turn it where it's straight, and give it a little, just a little snug, not a truck, it's a camera. And there you go, it's on a stabilization arm. Kind of nice, handy. Here's your record button, your zoom in and out. You can hold it like this, you can hold it like this. I think you could probably still hold it like this. Yeah. Like that, however you're comfortable. Here's the remote. Um, interesting thing you found with this is, so it's off right now. Open the window and it turns on. The power switch works when you open the screen and close the screen. So, and you can turn the screen this way. You can, if you're out working in front, you can turn it this way. And look at it like that. So, uh, no, I seem, seem pretty happy with it um, so far. Went together easy. Um, it's light, um, compact. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple videos with it and send them to you and, uh, so you can see how it does. Um, lots of settings, goes together real easy. And when you close this, it turns off. Um, you know, turns back on. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that window, but I got my thumb on the zoom button. And you can see my hand out here. I did hold the zoom button one way, the other way, zoom in. Zoom out. Kind of nice. You don't have to go click, click, click. You can. Uh... So, it's not recording right now. And I found this. This is my third time already. I forgot to do it. The record button back here and up there on the screen, you see a little red. See it turn red up here in the upper right? Now it's recording. There's camera to camera. We're having like a duel right now. <laughs> So now reach to the back, turn off the video, and it's not recording now. Close the door, and it shut off. Kind of nice. Light, small. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue on with some videos and see what we think. Good morning. Howdy, howdy. Well, I got the camera out doing a little filming liable to be a little shaky I'm just holding it freehand but we're just taking a look at you know colors contrast see how it see how it looks um, seems to look pretty good um, I'm actually narrating this afterwards so I can see how it looked and uh, and giving my comments um, obviously shaky though and that's that's just me holding the camera moving it around with my hand no gimbal, nothing, just the camera in my hand. So that's that's what made it shaky. But let's look up into the sun here and see what it does. Yeah, it seems to try to filter it. A little sun rays coming through here and there. Um, colors look good. Contrast, let's look at some grass here. See the detail, deep green color. Boy, I, I, I just love nice grass in the yard. So, yeah, I'm uh, so far pretty.
pretty pleased with it. Let's go over here and let's get a little close up of a of a plant and uh, you see the color and focus and shape I'm trying to hold steady. Let's check out the chickens. We can get some motion. So I think the way to use this camera would be on a tripod watching activity or filming activity because um, the chickens they move around they're moving around pretty quick and and that's videoing it's picking up the motion nice and clear um, I'm trying to hold the camera nice and steady so if this was on a tripod filming that I think it would it would just look great so yeah no I think this uh, this camera for the price I give this, oh, see here, I tried to get a close-up. I was pretty darn close, so it didn't want to really focus in. But right, you look at the flowers right behind it, and they're crisp and clear. So, I mean, I'm a foot away. Um, that's pretty close. Oh, there's Gator. So, yeah, so uh, for the price, I give this camera an absolute thumbs up. Um, can't beat it. I think it's a great starter camera. Um, I just looked at some nice cameras uh, for doing the same thing. Six thousand dollars for the setup, you know. Hey, this this is a hundred and fifty-five bucks or close, you know, somewhere in the one fifties, if I remember right. And uh, so yeah, so a great starter camera, lightweight, easy to use, and always remember turn the mic on and the record on. That's one thing that. Uh, I just wish you didn't have to turn the mic on separately, but yep, make sure they're both on because I've made that mistake many times. Let's have a look up here at the blue sky. Um, it's very blue this morning. Let's see how it comes through on the video. Looks pretty good. Um, tall trees, clear. Um, yeah, so very pleased with the camera and hope you enjoyed. Uh, give me a thumbs up, even subscribe. You can see more videos I have coming up on box openings and product reviews and building this and that's for the yard. And, and uh, y'all have a good day. Okay.